welcome to Apache Stock Training Session. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to create a Maven project. So let's get started. For today's session, we have a bunch of prerequisites and they are notable and uh, very important. So these are, first of all, we need a JDK install in whatever operating system we are trying to execute our topologies. Second, we should have Maven installed on the operating system. Third, we need a text editor, for example, Notepad, or we can use any integrated development environment or ID in short, for example, Eclipse. In this tutorial, I am going to use Eclipse as well as the Notepad editors to actually uh, accomplish the required coding and other stuff. Also, please be noted that uh, the operating system or the host environment that I'm going to use has all the basic prerequisites which were discussed about while installing Storm. So Apache Storm is installed there and all the related dependencies for Apache Storm are already present there. The prerequisites that are discussed here are specifically for the code that we are going to execute. Okay, so without wasting time, let's go ahead and jump start into the coding part. We discuss that uh, Apache Storm execution framework is called as a topology. A topology is a something which actually consists of multiple spouts as well as the bolts. Spouts are something which actually are the inputs and the bolts on the other hand are the processing part of the complete code which is written or the complete project which is created and are called as bolts. The complete collection is called a topology. To accomplish the example that we are going to discuss, we will be using a Maven project. There will be some dependencies about which I'll be discussing and I'll be discussing about the pom.xml file which will take care of all the dependencies. Okay, so the first stepping stone that we have is creating a new Maven project. I will show you how actually we can do that and also all the other things that I'm going to discuss in the slideshow. But let's first of all see the theoretical aspect of these things. So first of all I need to create a maven project and I actually I need to add the dependencies because this is a storm topology and you must add a dependencies for storm components. There will be some jar files, some classes which will be used at the back end and this dependency addition is going to take care of it. As you can see in the following lines you can uh, depict a uh, opening and closing tag of dependency which actually is adding a group id org.apache.storm and the artifact id is storm core looking at this dependency we can easily figure out that we are actually talking about the storm core jar which is going to have all the basic required class files for our code to execute once we add this dependency section to our pom.xml we actually will go ahead and make some more changes which will be about actually uh, adding the configuration so we'll be discussing about adding these configuration uh, lines in detail and hands-on in a couple of minutes also once the dependency is added we need to go ahead and add the plugins which are discussed in the slides that you are seeing on your desktop now, first of all, I am going to use the exec maven plugin, which is going to help me with the execution using maven. Third is what is the goal and which actually states as execution. Also, I am going to add a bunch of dependencies which are going to talk about the class path scope and which main class is going to be used for my execution to start. Okay, so uh, before I go ahead and discuss about the code part, let's actually jump ahead to our uh, workplace and let's 
do the hands on upon how to create a maven project so i am using this ubuntu vm all right and i'm going to use java ide to actually create these maven projects i can simply click on here and click on project and then from the drop down i can select maven and from the maven i can click on maven project clicking on next is going to ask that where i want to store the project which is going to be created and then the type of the project which should be actually taken as group id as org.apache.maven.archetypes and the artifact should be quick start clicking on next we are supposed to give a group id and artifact id for our example we can take the group id as tom topology and the artifact id can go as word count the example that we are going to discuss is about word count and we are going to have some sample input which is going to be processed here I can see that it says that invalid project name word count because it already exists. For me, I already have a word count project. For you, you can just write word count here and click on finish. Once done, expand this thing and you'll be able to see multiple directories created with the pom.xml file. So, while creating the project, we have mentioned a particular directory where the source code should be stored. And let's go on to my workspace, which is on home for me. And this is the directory that I have created with the name word count. It will have three files, or I'll rather say two directories and a file present by default. One is source, one is target. And the third one is pom.xml. So let's go to source and there we'll be seeing two folders in that which are created by default. One is main and one is test. The main is going to hold the main code for our job to execute. The test directory is supposed to have the test cases. For our use case, we are not going to create any test case. If you simply go to test, you'll see Java. Then you will see the actual path which is according to the artifact ID that we have given word count and there you will see if any uh, java file go ahead and delete that because we do not need it okay going back looking at the main directory we'll again have the subdirectory structure and there i have added already four code files which i'm going to discuss with you in a minute these four code files are my spout as well as the bolts which are required for the execution so let's discuss about these four java files and what all these four files do so in this case i have four java files which are there on the screen the first one is the random sentence spout we discuss that spout is something which is the stream or the input to our project which we call as topology in apache storm and bolts are the execution logic which are going to pick up that data and process it up the fourth file which i'm going to discuss the word count topology is pretty much similar to the driver class which is present in our mapreduce codes let's first of all uh, discuss about the random sentence spout class which i have created to actually pass some random input data to my bolts which are going to process them up please be noted that these four code files i have created in my word counter directory and when you create your code you are supposed to create these code files as well right so this is a custom code and the programmer needs to do that okay so i am starting with the random sentence about java class and i'm opening it with gedit there is a bunch of dependencies which i'm not going to discuss about i am going to start from here so i have a class in this particular case which is called random sentence spout and actually it is extending the base rich spout class i am going to create a collector which is going to actually collect the output emitted from my spout 
So spout output collector is the class which is going to be used and an object with the name of underscore collector is one which is going to be used to collect the output emitted here. So if you see this spout output collector is something which is coming from back type dot storm dot spout class. There is a object of class random with the name underscore rand and it is of not directly related to Apache storm but this is something which is there to generate a random number and which is actually available in java.util